Yeah, I like it. I'm really, 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 really digging it. I'm That's glad you're do doing it. I got, I got to do it, Joe. I've been wanting to do it for so long. I just, I don't, you know, and it's so crazy too because I thought that my hook would be. So my trainer basically told me I'm southpaw. I, I thought I was a right-handed boxer. He's like, no, you're left-handed boxer. I was like, you do you don't, write with your left hand? I write with right my left hand. hand. You write with your left. I hand? do everything with my left hand. But, but you fight with your left hand forward or your right hand forward. My right hand forward. Okay, so he fights southpaw. Yes, yes. So, I thought, I thought that my right hand was the strongest. That's what I thought. But my left hand is the strongest. But I got a killer right hook though too. But my left hook sucks. Mm. But it's all in my in my balance. He said, but your power is your two. Right, you're straight left. Yeah. Yeah. So, cause I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, my power. Is is my right hand? He said no. It's your left hand. So we got in a fight. <laughs> so he was like, "What? What?" He was. He, so he came charging at me, and as he was charging at me, I did this to him. He was like, "You southpaw. If you would have did this, then you would have been well, right." Because you were trying to set him up for a big left hand. Right. I stopped him with that. He said, right. "That is your jab hand. That's right. how I know your power coming coming from well, here." You know, a lot of fighters uh, they would fight southpaw even though they were right handed. That mm-hmm. was Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, he, he's right handed, but he fights southpaw, so his strong hand would be forward. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's different schools of thought on that. Yeah. Like Emmanuel Stewart did that with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. He took guys that were uh, natural right-handed and he put them in a southpaw stance. Because if you're also if you're learning from a southpaw stance, you have an advantage that most people fight orthodox. Mm-hmm. So when you're fighting, it gives people a very... When you fight someone who's a, a southpaw, it's confusing when you're boxing because everything's I've backwards. Heard. Yeah. So if you're not used to it, like in the early days of boxing... But then the best guys are guys like Terrence Crawford, who could just switch, or Boots Ennis, who just oh, yeah. switch. They just switch. They could fight you southpaw. They could fight you orthodox. And you're like, oh, Jesus. Like, you, you don't know where the fuck punches are coming from. No. They're coming from everywhere. Yeah, that's why you got to yeah. learn how to stick and move. Get but out of there. back that. in the day, that was really rare. Like, Marvin Hagler was the great at that. Mm-hmm. He, was the, he was, like, the most famous who of all. Who was it, Marvin? Marvin Hagler. Marvelous okay. Marvin Hagler. Yeah, he was the middleweight champion. He knocked out Tommy Hearns. And he, I mean, Hagler in his time was a destroyer. And Hagler would fight. He would switch it up all the time. He'd mm-hmm. fight orthodox. He'd fight southpaw. He can go back and forth. He would throw a punch and switch stances. Yeah. It was a, a totally. It was very rare in Hagler's day that an elite world champion would switch stances so effortlessly. But now you got like Terrence Crawford does it. Like I said, Boots Ennis oh, does yeah. it. I, I don't. I don't. I ain't going to say I can't do it. I'm saying I never have, but I might. It's a good thing to learn. If yeah. you can learn how to do things from your left side, it mm-hmm. actually shows you how to do things better from your right side, weirdly enough. It actually helps you. I'm still learning how to write with my right hand. I, st- I can't even hold this. Yeah. I'm I broke st- my arm once and I had to do that. I had to learn how to write and draw really? with my left hand. I mean, yeah. I think I can, you but can. it's going to be, it's awful. You can. It's, but you have to teach your hand how to do it, which is yeah. so interesting. Because you would think if your left hand does it so well, your right hand would just you would just tell your right hand to do it. Yeah. But my left hand is stupid. It just doesn't yeah. listen good. My right hand is like exactly. I kind of like being left-handed though. See, I, you know, I know what happened. I always had duck feet, but I look so goofy when I'm boxing because I hurt my knee playing soccer oh. when I was in college. I was I don't know how to play soccer, but I was, you know, playing, and I went to do a power kick. <laughs> and this person blocked me, so my body went one way and my leg went the other way. And I messed my knee up, so I just look goofy when I'm boxing. But mm. that I might could use that as as an advantage. They were like, "Look at this goofy footed bitch." <laughs> then I get in there and I whack somebody. <laughs> but I can do it, and I love it. So you're really thinking about fighting? It I, seems like you you've got a plan in your head. Yeah, because you're saying you're you're like painting scenarios where people underestimate you and you fuck them up. Like, so, in my mind, you're thinking about this. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, have one. Please don't have a lot. Don't get don't get your head break. I really want to do celebrity boxing. <laughs> Who would you want to fight? Uh, I don't know. You want to call somebody out? I probably will. I'm going to holler at my dog. Sam J, what's up, bitch? Let's fight. Uh, <laughs> do you... Uh, think that like how much time would you need to prepare for something like that um hmm, a month that's it really i'm telling you i i'll be out here you doing a lot how often are you uh, if boxing? i if i could do if i can just like box s- six days a week for a what, month 24 days you know you ready to fuck somebody up hell yeah <laughs> 
fucking right. I believe you. I'll fuck some. Short fingernails. No, no need to. I would like to fight my around. peers, the people that I love. Now, really? I, Why? Now I could. I don't know. Cause Why do you want to hurt them? Just because it's fun. Which is, you know, just like messing around like kids, you know, just messing around with my partners and shit. But I do be thinking about starting beef with people just to like. Just to fuck them up? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Especially now that you're on TV. Look, I see, man, look, I be watching Clarissa Fields. I'm like, oh, that's a big fucking. Clarissa Shields. Yeah. Uh, what I said? <laughs> Cl- Clarissa Fields. <laughs> <laughs> so Mikey Day be making fun of me because I get everybody named wrong. That's Joey Diaz's move. <laughs> this this is an entire videos of him saying people's names. And wrong. I say it with confidence yeah, too. Of course, <laughs> that's like, what? what Joey does too. He calls uh, Stepe Miocha Steopic. Oh yeah. He calls him Steopic. He called uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov. He used to call him Kalabib. Yeah. The fucking Kalabib gets a hold of you. Yeah. The Kalabib. Yeah, Kalabib. <laughs> Kalabib. Yeah. Yeah, I I do have a a name problem. I'm, I'm going to get it together. But that's a big, she big. Like, that that her, she, I wouldn't want to fight her. You ever heard of Ann Wolf? Oh, is that, uh, like, she ain't she old now? Yes. Yeah. Ann Wolf, uh, she used to be uh, a trainer. She was training people after she fought. And um, what's his name? Kirk. James Kirk, the guy he fought Canelo. Yeah, yeah, but she's a she, she's a psycho. Yeah, she, I would want to fight her. She had the most vicious one punch right here, right there. Boom, yep. one of the most vicious one punch KO in women's boxing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs>